All right, let's look at several ways to sort data in Google Sheets. So we're gonna look at, first of all, if you just have some data out in the middle of the tab, and then we're gonna look at if you have a tab and that's all that you have on it. So let's just start with this real quick. So if we just have some data here and we just wanna sort this real quick, we can select it and then sort range and we can sort natively by the first column as an example. And so that sorts it in order from oldest to newest. We can come back and sort it in descending order. And so that's a quick way you can do that range. Now you can also select this with that header row there. And then we can add a filter and that's either through here on the toolbar on that funnel icon or under data and create a filter. And when you have that added, you can click on this three horizontal lines next to any column header and then you can sort here. And you could also sort then alphabetically there or here or by sector or even by amount. And you can do that in ascending or descending order. So that's how you can sort that. But what if you want to sort by multiple columns? Well, in that case, let's go ahead and just remove this filter for now. So if we have this data and we want to sort by multiple columns. I'm going to include this header row, select all the data, and then go to data, sort range and advanced range sorting options. And so if we click data has header row, now we can pick multiple columns and sort them accordingly. So perhaps we want to sort by date, oldest to newest, and then we can sort by name, for example, and A to Z. Or we could perhaps pick sector and do A to Z. So let's just try this out. So here we see that it sorts this way. We don't have any repeating. So let's go ahead and change some of these to repeating. And then let's try that again and see if we'll sort those in alphabetical order. So let's go back, sort range. Answer range sorting, do date, and then let's do sector and sort. And so now you can see here is our three six, and then it sorted that in alphabetical order. And then this one, that's an alphabetical order, and the same here. So that's how you can do multiple columns. And so you can add as many as you need in that advanced range. And if you have a header row, you can go ahead and include it, and that gives it that name here and that drop down, which makes it a little easier to determine which one you want to do. And this allows you to sort by multiple columns in a very customizable way. Now, what if your data is taking up the entire tab like this? So we have basically all the same options. The one advantage is it's faster to do the filter. You don't even have to select anything. You can just click on that filter or funnel icon there or same thing here. And then you can do your same sort just like that. And then we can select this data and do the same thing with this sort range. And we could do advanced sorting. So here we could do, for example, by sector and then by sales rep. And then this will sort it by sector first. So we can see all the basic industries. And then once we get to the bottom of that, then capital goods. And we go through alphabetically with those sales reps. Now we can do all the exact same things. Let's undo that filter for the moment. We can do all the same things with the sorting by range, but we can also do sort by sheet. And so one thing to take a look at, so I'm gonna unfreeze this. So if I select this by clicking up here in the upper left, and then I go to sort sheet by column A, for example, that header row just disappeared. So it's gonna go all the way to the bottom. I guess not quite. There's some empty rows underneath. So the way we avoid that from happening is over here on the left hand side, when that turns into a hand, I can click and drag that down to freeze that. Uh, another option is I can go to view, freeze and one row. And now if I click up here to select it and do sort sheet, column A, we don't lose that header row down wherever it went. So just like that. So that's it for today's video. Make sure to like and subscribe if this was helpful for you and check out the other videos on our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.